Hi, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center. And today we are taking a look at Verizon's new Hum X. Now this isn't a typical mobile hotspot. It's not like a jetpack or a USB stick. What this is, is a diagnostic tool to plug into a vehicle's uh, ODB port or the onboard diagnostic port. And it's meant to track mileage and safety and things like that. But this particular model, the Hum X, also creates a 4G LTE hotspot in the car so that passengers can surf the web while they're driving. It's very similar to the AT&T Mobley, which has uh, kind of taken the RVing world by storm right now. What we're testing this for, we don't, wouldn't normally test and review this sort of equipment because it's generally not useful in RVs because they require the ignition to be on. What we found with the Mobley, however, is that you do get truly unlimited data on it, only subject to network management, and can be powered by this external adapter cord. The Mobley is kind of a dumb hotspot. It doesn't really do the onboard diagnostics and check in with the car, which is one way that it gets around it. So there's been some speculation that on Verizon's plans, this new Hum X is exempt from the 10 gigabyte mobile hotspot cap like their jetpacks and smartphones have. So that's one theory that we'll be testing is to see if this device can work as a unlimited hotspot only subject to the network management and there's speculation that it too can be powered by this adapter. There's not a lot of information out there on the web that we can find about it so we're kind of doing some testing here on it. Our speculation and what we've read in a couple of places however is that while this device can be powered by this adapter it actually has to check in with the car periodically or shuts down. So we're going to be testing for that and see. But let's go ahead and take a look at what comes in the box. We ordered this from Verizon. It's $150 if you don't want to have a contract on it. Um, and then it costs the typical $20 a month to add on to your Verizon Unlimited plan. Plus there's a $5 per month hum fee and that goes for the diagnostic monitoring. Let's see how this box actually opens. Okay. Another thing to keep in mind is there's also a Hum X, sorry, a Hum Plus, and it's very confusing. That one does not have the mobile hotspot. So you want to make sure if you're going this route, you get the Hum X, not Plus. I made that mistake. All right, so the first thing it comes with, this is some sort of thing that you talk to your car with. The speakerphone. Speakerphone. Okay. Totally useless for what we're trying to do. <laughs> Let's see. You, can make, you can make phone calls. Yes. Who makes phone calls? <laughs> okay. Let's see. There is some sort of little USB cord. There is a 12 volt adapter for it. Let's get started. Download the Hum app, create your account, and install the Hum system. And this is the Hum device itself. So it's uh, very large. There's been some uh, reviews on this online that it's too large to fit in some vehicles. So I'm even curious to see if it would fit in our Mini Coopers, which we had to sign up for it with. When we bought this, we had to specify what type of vehicle down to the color of our vehicle that it was being installed in. So we're really, really curious to see how much they enforce that. But these are the ODB connector ports. So that is what we're hoping will fit right into this adapter, which it does. Um, and that it can be powered that way. But it'll be interesting to see if we can get around the activation and keep it actually powered and using that way. And if it's also subject to the 10 gigabyte hotspot cap. So there's a lot of unknowns with this. We'll report back later on what we find. So we've been using the hum hard for the last few days trying to understand what it's capable of. And we've got a little bit of good news, bad news, and unconfirmed news. Um, so. First off, we discovered there is absolutely no way to get a SIM card out of this. It is a completely locked device. And um, then we were trying to figure out, can we use it with this power supply that would work with the Mobley? And though it connects and it will power up and uh, um, get a signal, there is absolutely no way to connect to the HUM's control panel when it's powered on like this to change its settings. You will see its Wi-Fi network and you can get online at first, the very first time we tried it. Um, 
and you can surf a little bit until it times out. It's very aggressive about shutting itself down. After just a few minutes of use, it will shut itself down because it can't find a car to talk to. So we took it out to our car, and then it pairs with the car and actually locks to the car's VIN number. Um, so it cannot go from car to car unless you call HUM support. And we actually had to call HUM support to test this. And once it locks to a car's VIN number, you cannot power it off this power supply at all. So as essentially the HUM is absolutely useless other than in a powered on car or other supported vehicle. So not useful off this power supply at all. Now, the other big question people have is, can you actually use uh, more than the Verizon's 10 gigabyte limit? So we've been streaming in the car like crazy and managed to use, we burned through 12 gigabytes in just two days and it did not slow down for us at all. But on Verizon's dashboard, they are showing um, a 10 gigabyte cap for mobile hotspot usage. It's just not counting that data yet. And we've tested our smartphones are not counting that data yet either. So potentially in the very near future, Verizon will be enforcing a 10 gigabyte cap. It's kind of unconfirmed whether the hum is going to be part of that or not, but for the moment, use all the data you want. But who wants to use data only while they're in the car? The, the, the one place where the hum can be useful is if you are in the car or in your RV a lot and you just need that connection to keep the kids entertained in the back seat or keep your navigator busy streaming Netflix. And it seems to work really great for that. It's got some you know, interesting, neat car monitoring features and stuff. But if you're trying to think of this as an alternative to the AT&T Mobily as a way to get the same sort of unlimited home internet replacement data, powering it in an alternative way um, on Verizon, Hum just can't do that. So only in the car, not for, not a, not a mobile equivalent. Bummer.